<laughs> and it's Maggie bumpy. and Joe checking in again. It's Maggie and Joe from Average Joe's RV Living Blog, and we're on a gondola again. There's a theme here. We are going up to the Sterling uh, Vineyards in uh, Napa Valley, and to get there, you go up to the winery um, on a tram. Um, well, it's a gondola. A gondola, gondola okay. sorry. Um, so, we're at the Sterling Vineyards in Napa Valley, and we're going up to do a wine tasting. And we're in this gondola high over their vineyards and the rest of their grounds full of oak trees. It's absolutely beautiful. Basically, it's just wall-to-wall -wall vineyards around here. Every single property is a vineyard. I've never seen so many, not even in the Cape in South Africa. And so we've got, we've got a passport. It's a really nice tourist deal and you get to do about 10 of them for $60. Yeah, so that's which is really a great deal great because deal. the winery we went to yesterday I think was fifty dollars, just and for the one. The one yeah. today is forty-five. So by the time you've gone to two wineries, you've paid for it. And what are, what are you doing in Napa anyway? You've got to come here to drink the wine. Yeah. And so and we found out about this deal by going into the visitors center in Calistoga. So that's something we discovered is a really good thing. The first thing we have to do when we get to a place is go and see their visitors center, and get some advice about um, what the, what's a good deal to see the, the local area um, and so if there's so many wineries obviously we can't see them all but we're just trying to see that the, the most beautiful and spectacular ones this is pretty spectacular and really have to highly recommend Calistoga I mean the the RV park has good Wi-Fi we've been we've been streaming and catching up on news and, and just really enjoying the connectivity it's nice and clean and the RV park is within walking distance of um, the village of Calistoga town I get they call it very tiny town which is full of good restaurants uh, spas mineral stuff um, mineral springs hot springs wineries again they're right in town yeah there's lots of tasting rooms on the main street which is Lincoln Avenue you <coughs> can uh, just pretty much uh, stumble your way along moving from tasting room to tasting room which is the plan yeah. for today happy birthday to Maggie <laughs> at um, Calistoga Inn Napa Valley Napa Valley all day long was pretty much a party <coughs> so we went to wineries so I think Calistoga is the, one of the first cities I've ever been in I mean towns that was invented purely for people to have fun drink wine and get spa treatments so uh, uh, this is a really fun part of our trip I mean some parts of our trip we figured out are just hard work working on our blogs some of them are um, the challenge of the of, of, of some from challenging drives and We're all coming in and some of them are just pure fun and this is the pure fun bit thank you Samplings. We had two amazing whites, three amazing whites, so the third one was sweet, very sweet, and three lovely reds um, of varying price points. Of course, the most expensive was the most delicious. We didn't buy anything. No, we're not ready to buy yet. We have to go to many, many wineries and taste many wines before we commit <laughs> to spending any money. Need some. This has been spectacular. spectacular place. Yeah. Overlooking the whole valley from up here. It's pretty amazing. It's like a bucking bronco. <laughs> but much easier. Hello, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. So this is our last day in Calistoga and we're coming to you from the Romeo winery where we just had a wonderful tasting of some beautiful red wines. We purchased their port. Highly recommended. It's a beautiful smooth port, not high alcohol, and an award-winning rosé. We're actually on the main street of Calistoga. It's called Lincoln Road or Lincoln Avenue. And we're just going to walk down the street and go to various wineries. They actually have the wine tasting on the main street. And we're not more than a mile from home, so when we're done, we'll just walk home. Absolutely. 
So as I said, this is our last day in Calistoga. So the next time we check in, we will be outside of San Francisco in Vallejo. And we're planning to spend one day in San Francisco and then start making our way down to Bakersfield and Palm Desert. So I just want to end with a really big recommendation. If you're traveling across the USA, try and stop in at the Calistoga RV Park because this little city has, has it all. It has wonderful restaurants, wonderful vineyards, everything. Like, we've never traveled more than six miles to go anywhere the whole time we've been here. And it's charming, absolutely charming. Charming, charming city. And also spas, and we didn't do the spas, but it does have that effectual thing. They're and wonderful, um, friendly people. Two weeks in Seattle, I was like, this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like home at all. <laughs> nice. But plot your journey well because um, we came in on the California 128. 128. Avoid at all costs. Avoid at all costs. Come in on the 29. I have no idea. Anyway, don't do the California. <laughs> 128. Do not do the California 128. 20 miles of, of, of white knuckling it. Um, so try and come in from the south rather than from the north and you'll have a better trip in. Don't <laughs> trust, do not trust your Garmin 770, <laughs> which will take you anywhere. So until next time, we will say cheers to the Napa Valley. Cheers. Unfortunately, we don't have a glass, but um, this is a I know it doesn't look it. I know it doesn't look like it. But this is a hard-working day for us. We have to hit three vineyards because tomorrow we're traveling. So, up and at them, honey. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> So thanks for watching and please help us grow our channel by liking and subscribing. See you next time. See you next time.